Can you imagine a bird carrying your mail and delivering messages? Is it even possible? This is true. Using birds' innate sense of directionality, they can deliver messages with remarkable efficiency. A bird is hatched and raised at the destination, carried a reasonable distance away, and released with the message. It flies back to its base, bringing the message with it. That's not the best birds can do. There are some that do better. You need a bird with a strong sense of home and the stamina to fly long distances in all kinds of weather and fly to its breeding grounds from far away. In this video, we will discuss all the birds that are used as mail carriers and how efficient they were. Stay until the end of this video because you will have a clear idea about how those birds were trained and used. The bird shouldn't hurt its handlers too much, shouldn't try to get rid of the message as soon as it's free, and should be easy to raise in large numbers. Pigeons excel at this to an extraordinary degree. On the other hand, owls don't home very effectively. Since their hunting grounds are limited, they're pretty hard to grow and not at all tameable. Falcons are also more prone to go out on their own and return home late. When released, ravens are so intelligent that they quickly remove the message and use it as a toy. Human interaction has always relied heavily on the ability to exchange information. 100 years ago, the concept we now term networked society looked quite different, and pigeons used as messengers were one of the most common means of transmission. Pigeons have been used for centuries for communication, notably in China, and may be trained to carry as much as 75 grams in their backs. Pigeons were utilized in ancient Egypt to relay messages from faraway ships. The ancient Greeks and Romans also made frequent references to the use of carrier pigeons. Pigeons were also used in World War I and II for communication purposes. Pigeons have been very useful to people for as long as history has been kept. Their chanting is soft and has a steady beat. People who are constantly seeking anything to despise should consider everything that pigeons have done for humanity. In 1896, New Zealand started the world's first pigeon-based airmail service, called the Pigeongram Service. The average speed of a modern airplane, 77.6 miles per hour, is only 40% slower than it used to be. For five pigeon gram stamps, a customer can send a message by pigeon. Each pigeon can carry five messages. During World War I, pigeons were an important part of the network of people who could talk to each other. The Germans sent out their best marksmen to kill the birds because they were a threat. Pigeons were moved into tanks that had smaller holes on the sides. When a U-boat attacked a minesweeper, the crew was often saved by letting go of a pigeon with a message telling the U-boat where they were. Seaplanes carried pigeons that carried vital information about where the enemy was. During World War II, pigeons were used in Europe, the Indian subcontinent, and Burma. Around 500 BC, Cyrus the Great set up the first network of pigeon messengers in Assyria and Persia. In 2000 BC, they were messengers who brought messages between warring groups in Mesopotamia. In 53 BC, when Hannibal sent out messages, these people got them. Julius Caesar used pigeons to take over Gaul from 58 to 51 BC. When they went home to China, traders from India and the Middle East sometimes used pigeons to send messages. When the first modern Olympics were held in 776 BC, each athlete brought a homing pigeon from home to help him get around the stadium. If he did well in the competition, his bird would be the one to tell his family about it. Between 63 BC and 2180, the Greek geographer Strabo says, fishermen all along the Mediterranean coast used pigeons to tell each other when fish shoals were coming. In the 1840s, the news service Reuters used a pigeon to get the word out. When the telegraph was invented, Paul Julius Reuters' pigeon service came to an end. In 1870, when Paris was under attack, they sent messages all over France. At the start of World War I in 1915, two pigeon corps were sent to the Western Front. Each unit had four pigeons and a handler. Because the pigeon corps got so much attention, there are now many more birds in the military than before. At the war's end, there were 22,000 pigeons living in 150 mobile lofts and 400 people in the pigeon corps. The messages would be in a small box attached to the pigeon's leg. After it was set free, the bird would fly back to its nest behind enemy lines and ring a bell to let people know it was there. From each airport along England's coast, pigeons could carry messages in case of an invasion. If a bomber was shot down, the crew might let two pigeons out of the plane to find out where the plane crashed. The intelligence service used these birds to do its job during World War I. They were sent all over Europe to keep in touch with different resistance groups. Shelling, small arms fire, and poison gas killed about 90% of the people. In 1940, 300 boxes of pigeons, each with enough food for 10 days, was dropped into areas of Europe controlled by the enemy. There was also a questionnaire and a set of instructions. 
a piece of paper with information about where the enemy is moving could be put into the container on the bird's leg. The bird would then be set free to fly back to its allies. During World War II, the Nazis controlled parts of Europe where 14,544 pigeons were dropped by parachutes. Only 1,842 were returned. While serving in the British military, almost a million pigeons were killed. Redcock saved the crew of a torpedoed trawler by putting the ship's location on the grid. 500 soldiers from the 77th Infantry were stuck in Argonne, France in October 1918. While they were there, their own side bombed them all the time. The Major asked for help through a pigeon named Cher Ami. The enemy shot the bird in the chest and it fell to the ground. The bird took off again and flew the quarter hour to the division's headquarters. The soldiers were found and helped. Even though the bird was shot through the breast, blinded in one eye, and its leg was only held on by a tendon. Cher Ami got every message across. Animals that have shown extraordinary bravery in battle are given the Dickin Medal. Only 32 out of 55 awards have been given to pigeons, which is not enough thanks for saving the millions of people. The US and Australia often use pigeons and sent special groups to many other countries. Aerial photos could be taken with the help of pigeons. A small camera was put in a canvas harness and attached to the pigeon, which was then sent to strategic places. The videos might show where the enemy troops are moving and where their air bases are. Pigeons were used to send important information about where the V-1 flying bomb site was. In Pinamunda, Germany, in 2004, a huge memorial was built in Hyde Park to honor the many birds and animals that died during the war. Pigeons are man's most reliable friend when bad things happen. For a few grains of rice, they'll give up everything. You have to pay back your debts every day. This was all for today's video. Please subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon to get more interesting and informative videos like this.